Hello everyone, I am Katio with Lunar Sun Creations and today we are going to be making some really fun candle holders or um, brush holders or whatever we want to use them for. We're going to be using alcohol inks to create something that looks like this. So I'll be doing a couple mugs and a couple kind of frosted uh, glasses from the dollar store. Uh, these are not to be used for drinking out of. The varnishes that we'll use to seal them are not food safe. These are more for, you know, storing things like this, like your brushes or um, maybe making it into a planter or something decorative. Okay, so first I'm going to go over the materials that we'll need and then we will get started. So, uh, I'm going to be doing three different techniques. So um, we will need, I don't know when, uh, what order to go in, we'll need isopropyl alcohol, 99%, 91% will also work, you don't want anything less than that. I'm going to be putting it in a tiny little squeeze bottle with, oops, we don't want that coming off, with a needle uh, fine tip, like a really, really tiny tip. Okay, um, I'm also going to be using some blending solution for one of the ways that I'll do it, but you don't have to um, have the blending solution. So one way I'm going to be using is um, with just painting the alcohol ink on, so I'll get some paint brushes and a little palette. Another way is um, to use the foam blender tools, but instead of the normal um, uh, blending pad that you have on there. I will be using just straight up, um, what is it called? Just like a sheet of, um, why can I not think of the word for this? Uh, felt, felt. <laughs> there we go. Thanks brain. Um, so I'll just be using felt. I've just cut out some circles to go on the top of your blender. Okay, and um, then of course we will need our alcohol inks. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to use all of these, I just picked a whole bunch of colors. I've got Stream and the Tranquil Pearl in the Ranger. Um, I've got some greens, I've chosen um, Rainforest and, or sorry, Everglades and Envy in the Alcohol Pearl. Those are both from Ranger. And then a Rainforest Green from uh, Pinata. I've got um, another set of Ranger inks, Peach Bellini, Red Pepper, and Dandelion. Then I've got um, some Glacier Blue and some Baja Blue. The Glacier is Ranger, the Pinata is the Baja. And then I've got some purples, um, all ranger. This is amethyst, vineyard, and boysenberry. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna use them all or not. I've also got some white um, uh, from Jacquard or Pinata that I've diluted, um, probably about 12 drops of the white with um, uh, the isopropyl alcohol mixed into it. Okay, um, obviously you are going to need some gloves, and then you will need your mug. So I've got a couple mugs that are just like this and then the frosted ones like this. These are just from the Dollar Tree, really cheap. So don't worry if you mess up, it's not costing you too much. Okay, I'm gonna clear this away and protect my workstation and then we'll get going. Oh, before I forget, um, we also need to seal the alcohol inks. So I'm going to be starting um, sealing with about three coats of the uh, Krylon Kamar, Kamar varnish. So about three coats of that. And then I will finish with a coat of the UV resistant gloss also from Krylon. Okay. Uh, this you want to do outside. It is really stinky. So you definitely want to do it outside or in a very ventilated area because it is stinky. Okay. I'm going to get this clean up and I'll be right back. I forgot to mention that one last thing that you will need is um, something, a blow dryer or maybe an airbrush or you could even use just a straw if, and your own breath if you like, but something to be able to move the alcohol around. I like the 
uh, hairdryer because it also has the heat which kind of um, sets it as you go so that as well okay so let's start with the greens I think let's go with the greens and we are going to use the ink daubers let's try this first so I'm gonna put some Everglades Oh, gloves, 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 Katia, gloves, gloves, gloves. I'm famous for forgetting to put gloves on. Okay, and then I'm also going to put a little bit of the alcohol pearl, the Envy. You want to shake this up until that ball inside is really moving around. put a tiny bit of the rainforest. I'm pretty sure I remember this being quite a deep color. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little bit of uh, the alcohol blending solution. And then I'm just going to put the caps back on everything so I don't spill it all. Which I'm prone to do. Such a messy crafter. <laughs> and I'm literally just going to start pouncing it onto my mug. You want to make sure that your mug is quite clean to begin with. Um, but yeah, there's literally nothing else to it. It's literally just pouncing it on. The handle can get a little tricky. You might want to put your hand inside. And I haven't even had to put more ink on. Like it goes a long way. I like to do the handle as well. Not absolutely necessary for sure. Um, it's hard to get into the little crevices with the, with the blending brush. So you might want to Try and go in a bit with your finger just to like kind of make sure that everything is kind of covered. And I mean, you can just keep kind of Pouncing it and it'll change as you go. Um, you can do the bottom if you like. Oh, this is, thought it might come off really nice and easy. Nope, not a chance. <laughs> so, I mean, that's all there is to that one. So now we're gonna set this aside, let it dry, and then I'm gonna give it a, give it a varnish and easy peasy cup one. I mean, remember that these are decorative, right? So we're not going for uh, Michelangelo art pieces. These are just, these are just little holders of things. <laughs> it looks pretty cool though, right? I think so. I think it looks quite cool. All right, so excellent. There is our first little mug. Okay, for the next one, I've got six paintbrushes and I've got six colors. I'm gonna do a little rainbow mug. So um, in the pinata, I, or sorry, in the ranger, I've got red pepper, peach bellini, dandelion, and botanical. And then I have got sapphire blue in the pinata. And I've got Violet in Kelty ink. Okay, so I'm just taking one of my white mugs. I'm gonna turn it upside down. You can tell that I'd done something to it and didn't like it, so I clean it back up again. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of the color and just kind of let it run down. And then I'm gonna take the next color 
red, orange. And let the next color run down. And then just go around like that with each of the colors and let them run. If a color is too thick and it's not blending quite the way you want it to, you can always add a tiny bit of isopropyl alcohol just to kind of make it move a little bit more. Same with this red over here. Now I've got a rainbow stripey mug. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna put a little bit of the isopropyl alcohol on the mug to start with. And then I'm gonna take a little bit of our glacier blue and our Baja blue and kind of drizzle it down. And I'm gonna kind of roll it around and then I'm gonna take some paper towel and I'm gonna put a little bit of alcohol on the paper towel. And then I'm literally just going to wipe down. So I've just got a bunch of splotches of the blues on here. And then remember how I mixed some white pinata with the alcohol? Just gonna add some in random spots. Kind of squirt it out, creating like dots almost. And then I'm gonna take my heat gun and just kind of blow her around. And wherever there is a little bit too much ink, just give it a little squitch. A little squitch, does that make sense? <laughs> My goal for this one is to have some, like a bubble effect. Okay, so I'm gonna add a bit more ink because I want this to be quite abstract, but I want there to be those, those bubbles, almost like a, an ocean kind of scene. Okay, so kind of move those around and then use some of that squirt bottle with the white pinata and the alcohol. And 
and just keep doing that until you're happy with the result. So I'm just going to keep playing with this, adding ink where I think I need it, and then adding some uh, isopropyl alcohol with a few drops of the white mixed in and just squirting it in such a way that it kind of Can you see the little dots it's creating? Yeah. Like I want it to create, I want to keep as many of those dots as I can. So just keep playing with it until you're happy with the result. Okay, so for the next one, I'm going to use the stream. So I've got a little bottle with alcohol in it and I'm just going to add a squirt of the stream to that little bottle of alcohol. I want it to be really diluted. Okay, and then I'm also going to be using a little bit of the Tranquil Alcohol Pearl. And my goal for this one is to get it much like this, really sweeping kind of long lines. So I'm going to add a little bit of this. It's going to be very mellow. And then some of the pearl. And then move it around. I'm trying to continually curl this around. If I had one of those, um, what do they call them? The cup spinners, the spinner, that would be much easier. But the, the pearl, because it's a heavier ink, um, it kind of creates these really pretty kind of stripey bits. So really simple, but really effective, especially when there's a candle in there. Okay, so starting from the beginning, this is the first one that we created. Uh, I, it's the easiest one of all of them, and I think it's my favorite. <laughs> really love the pouncing technique. So simple, so effective, like really, really cool. Um, I also did the same pouncing technique on one of the frosted glass. It's got a completely different kind of effect. I used a, um, a raspberry and a silver with a tiny bit of pearl. Um, I'm going to try and take some pictures of, uh, of everything with candles in it so you can kind of get a better idea of what it looks like when there's candlelight in it because that's when the magic kind of happens. Okay, so that's that. And then what did we do next? We did the rainbow. So, uh, I mean, I think I like this one. It's a, it's a little bit muddy in places. It kind of got a little bit out of hand, but I still like it. Um, I love rainbows, so we're going to roll with it. I did do the, oh, this one's still a little bit, a little bit wet. Um, I did do one of the frosted uh, containers in the rainbow and it's really hard to see how pretty it is. It looks super, super dark, but um, the light going through it is actually gorgeous. So I know that one's going to be pretty 
when the candle is in it. And that one was just painting on the color. And then we had the um, drops of pure color and then taking the bottle, the squirt bottle and literally squirting it so that it dropped all over and created these super cool patterns. I really love the way this one turned out as well. It's almost like camouflage. So I love that one as well. Very, very cool. And then we did the, um, uh, the alcohol ink mixed with, um, quite a bit of the alcohol itself isopropyl alcohol. Um, this one is quite frosted because I used um, that Tranquil, which is like a heavier ink, almost, almost kind of like a mixative. Um, this one's going to be really pretty when the light hits it because there's a lot of areas where it's like really light. You can kind of see my fingers in there. This one's going to be, it doesn't, it's, it, they don't look nearly as nice before a candle's in them. When a candle is in them, they just shine. So gorgeous. Okay, and I did one more um, with this kind of technique uh, in the purple. Um, so purple with a little bit of um, gold mixative. The gold mixative did take over a little bit and it does look really dark. Um, but when, again, when the candle's in there, it's gonna look really pretty. I, I wanna do more, but I, I've run out of vessels to put alcohol ink on. <laughs> So, um, I'm going to do more in the future. I hope you learned something. I hope you got something out of this video. Um, that would be fantastic if you did. I'm trying to like lay them on their side so you can see them a little bit better all together. That one's still a little wet, so I'm not going to do it for that one. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, there's some pretty cool things that happened here. I feel like I'm babbling now, so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to stop making noise with these on the glass. And um, you guys are amazing and I hope you will come back soon. So many awesome things to come. I'm just going to varnish these now and, and then we're good to go. Alright, I will see you again soon. Sending you huge hugs. Bye!